What's going on, you guys? This is Biggs, Biggs Chop Shop, and uh, whew, today was a busy day. Did all my uh, Christmas shopping, the majority of it today. Ran everywhere looking for everything, so I'm kind of tired. Um, but I did pick up some uh, some wheels on the way, and uh, I ran into a couple of good spots, so I'll show you that. Uh, today I'm wearing the uh, vintage uh, pit crew style we used to wear back in the uh, late 70s, 80s, and even early 90s. So this is kind of vintage. So I, that's one thing about me. I like to have a you know different, uh, what do you call it, uh, race team pit crew shirts and stuff. I have a lot of them. So, you know, I kind of change them up here at the shop every once in a while. But let's get into what we uh, got here today. Every time I go anywhere and I see these bad boys, I pick them up. There was, we went to a Target. There's about 10 of these. I picked up one of them. Kids were there. They were taking them off the pegs. They like them, so I'm not going to take them all if they're there. Usually, I have about 20 of them already. So, I don't know. I don't need them all. I just, I need the wheels. That's why I got it for the wheels. That's all I care about. Just those wheels right there. Everything else, scrap. So that's what that's all about. Then I, um, I came across a beat up package here. Um, you guys seen the Matchbox 60th anniversary edition? This one here is, um, it is called the Jeep Wrangler Super Lift. I like it because it's like off-road. Remember, look at the package. It's like all screwed up. Um, I found this one in a toy store along with a couple other rare, what I call hard to find or rare on the pegs. Um, but this one was uh, hanging out there. I mean, look at the back. You see that thing's all tore up, jacked up. It's probably sitting there for a long time. But, um,. I find all these cool spots where nobody really looks, you know, to find some of these harder to find pieces. And you just never know what you're going to find. So, get this out of here. I don't know why people, why people even keep these things. Get them out of here. We don't need them. So, here we go. This is a Jeep Wrangler. It's pretty cool looking. I like these off-road uh, kind of uh, doohickeys. I don't know what you call them. You know? They're kind of cool. There's a lot to them. I mean, look at it. All kinds of stuff. Got some tools. It's just cool. They have like a somewhat suspension on these things. So it's just different, you know? Something that's different. I'm not a Jeep fan, really, but, you know. And then um, I came across a nice little trade goodie. Um, they had a few of these. There were like five of these on the pegs. I grabbed another one. Um, whenever these are up, I know everybody's looking for these. I grab them. The only reason why I grab stuff like this is I don't collect it because I don't want it. But um, I trade people that need they need them. I need my things. It's the only way I can get what I need. So, um, then an, another, another one I got here on a trade piece. But the, um, inside the packaging, it's kind of funky. Another Batman. I mean, but look at all that stuff right there in the package. You see that? Kind of goofy. It doesn't look like it's on the car. It's just in the packaging itself. I'm not going to open this either because I don't collect it. I just got it just to trade it. But then I kept digging at the, uh, um, oh, well, wait a minute. That bump around and, and these two are the ones I found at Target. Um, the Jeep and these next, all the ones I'm about to show you here was another store. And it was that toy store that uh, we don't really go into that often, but. Um, they had some cool stuff in there, and one of the cool things they had in there was this. 
Now, this is the first time I was able to find on my own one of these uh, A100 trucks. And I've been fe seeing a few of these maroon ones, these maroon tow trucks. But I'm looking for the uh, 60th anniversary, the white ones. I need some of the white ones. But um, anyways, I've got one, and i got two of these. Chilling uh, on the pegs. So, i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to open up one of these. Uh, let me see which one is the one that's most jacked up here. I'll open up this one here. Now, not every uh, not every car in here I like. Obviously, I don't know what this crappy one is in here, but this one here, I don't even know what it is, nor do I care. Can I even use those wheels? I don't even think I can use these wheels. I don't know. So I can use them for something. I would give it to my daughter. Put that one there. And that's what I wanted. I found them on the pegs. Pretty crazy. But uh, again, this is a spot that nobody really goes to. And then uh, here's one that um, I don't think I've ever showed on any of my videos. This is the tow truck here. It's called. What is this one called? Urban tow truck. So the 60th anniversary was the nice one I want. It's the white one. But I'm going to have a couple of these sitting outside my shop. So, you know, tow some of my uh, compadres' cars and my paisanos when they break down. Just tow them right in with the hook. But um, we'll see. Eh, okay for now. But the key is you got to be able to grab a lot of the same thing, you know? So, so far I think I got three of these. If I can grab, you know, maybe five, six, I'll be good. I'll use these. But I think I have one of the white ones, and I wanted more of the white ones. So, but last but not least, um, the coolest one I found all day was one that I really, I've really been looking for. Um, and uh, it's this one right here, the Brady Bunch, 71 Plymouth Satellite. I wanted it for the wheels. See those wheels in the front? I want, and I want a lot of these, so I can take those small wheels on the front. They look like lowrider wheels. So, most of it. There you go. You see how deep dish those wheels are? You see, they're they're not too small, but they're okay. They're small enough. Yeah, look at that paint. Uh, I'll be honest, no Plymouth was ever painted that nice. <laughs> Especially no Brady Bunch car. It didn't have no scoop in the uh, hood there. I remember seeing that. This car looks to be lowered. So basically, this was a repop of another car, I bet. And they just painted it that certain color. Painted the interior a certain color and said, Oh, now it's a pretty much car. Whatever. It's the bottom. The metal base. Metal body. So it's, it's a nice car. I, I really, I really, really like those wheels. Those right here are the premium lowrider wheels right here. Is the ones that I like. So, anyways, this is the uh, crown jewel of this video here. It's a nice, it's a nice car. It really is. So, tell me what you think. Were you able to find these as well? Um, have you even seen these in the store? I've never seen anybody with a three pack of these. I don't know, man. I don't know how they um, came out with this. It's let me see what date it is. 2013, so they should be out there, but um, like I said, 
first time I've ever seen him. First time I was able to pick up any of these in the on the pegs. So, anyways, that's it. I'm tired. I'm gonna crash out. I got a lot of work to do, a lot of wrapping and stuff, and I'm just tired. So, I'll talk to you guys a little later. Thanks for watching. If you haven't done so already, subscribe, comment down below. Do what you like.